A senator wanted to know about how people in her state felt about internet privacy issues. She conducted a poll by calling 100 people whose names were randomly sampled from the phone book. Note that mobile phones and unlisted numbers are not in phone books. The senator's office called those numbers until they got a response from all 100 people chosen. The poll showed that 42% of respondents were very concerned about internet privacy. What is the most concerning source of bias in this scenario? And we should also think about, well, what kind of bias is that likely introduced? Is this likely to be an overestimate or an underestimate of the number of respondents? And maybe there is no bias here. But our choices, and no bias is not one of the choices, so you can imagine it's, it's going to be one of these three. So I encourage you to pause this video and think about what we just said. We're, we're a senator. We're trying to figure out what percentage of our response are very, are, of our constituents are very concerned about internet privacy. And we go to the phone book. We sample 100 people. We keep calling them until they answer. And we get that 42% are very concerned. So, so what's the source of bias? All right, now let's work through this uh, together. So non-response is would have been the case if we selected these 100 people and let's say only 50 people answered the phone and we didn't keep calling them. Then we'd say, well, you know, 50 of the people who we sampled to answer our survey didn't even respond. There was a non-response there. What was there about those 50 people? Maybe there was something that would have skewed the survey or actually if we had we gotten them, it would have gotten maybe get better data. But in this case, they tell us the senator's office called those numbers until they got a response from all 100 people chosen. So the 100 people that they chose, they made sure they got a response. So non-response is not going to be an issue here. All right, next choice, under coverage. Well, under coverage is where you're not able to sample from part of the population. And a part of the population that actually might, uh, because you didn't sample it, it might introduce bias. And let's think about what happened in this situation. We are a senator. We want to sample all of our constituents. But we choose, we instead we sample from the constituents who happen to be listed in the phone book. So these are the people who happen to be, who happen to be listed in the phone book. And so we're not sampling from people who are not in the phone book, who are maybe have landlines and they're unlisted. And we're not sampling from people who don't have landlines, who only have mobile phones. And you might say, well, why is that important? Well, think about it. People who decide not to list the, in the phone book or people who don't even have a landline, some of those people might be a little bit more concerned about privacy than everyone else. They explicitly chose not to be listed. So under coverage is definitely a very concerning source of bias over here. We are sampling from only a subset of our entire population we care about. In particular, we're missing out on people who might care about privacy. And so I would say because of under coverage, 42% is likely to be an underestimate of the people concerned about internet privacy. That probably a higher proportion of the people out here care about privacy because they're unlisted or they don't even have a landline. So under coverage, it probably introduced bias and it implies that 42% is an under underestimate of the percentage of the senator's constituents who care about internet privacy. Now the last, the last question, volunteer response sampling. Well, this would be the case where you, you know, the senator, I don't know, put a billboard out or, or just told someone, uh, told a bunch of people, maybe on, on her website, hey, uh, vote for this or, or give us your information on how much you care about uh, internet privacy. And that would have, that would have been the source of bias there is, well, who shows up on that website? You're, once again, if you did, hey, come to my website and fill it out, you're, filling, you're, only getting, you're only getting information from a subset of your population who, is, who are choosing, who are volunteering. That is not the situation that she did over here. She, she didn't ask 100 people to volunteer. Her team went out and, and got them from the phone book. So this was definitely a case of under coverage.